And with a growing conversation around how to handle discipline and safety at schools, Frazier Community Schools launching what it calls an anti-racism initiative for the upcoming school year. The district said that this is to create more equitable opportunities and outcomes for black students and students of color. Jalen Sochek is live for us from Westside Middle in Frazier to break down what changes the charter school will be making. Jalen, good morning. John, good morning. The Fraser Community Schools founder, Dr. Bobby White, says these changes come after everything that has happened in the last 18 months. You know, the murder of George Floyd, the pandemic, a racial and political divide. So he said it really uh, backed up why he thought that there needed to be a bolder approach to education. So as you can see, teachers are here at the school this week. They're doing their in-service training days. Part of that is learning and training for their new anti racism initiative. Uh, one of the parts that that uh, initiative entails is they're going to be implementing a no expulsion rule for students except in those you know extreme zero tolerance cases. FCS said they will also focus on restorative practices instead of punitive ones to ensure that students don't get suspended for minor incidents. And the district said to accomplish that, they've added a restorative practice specialist to each school. That person, that teacher is going to be able to work with students to help the school become more trauma informed. So, you know, if a student is experiencing any issues, they can help them through that, address the behavior. What it means, I think that child can now understand that they're thinking through my challenges as opposed to seeing me as the problem. So here's what we have to recognize. The institution is the problem, not the child. Now here at Westside, another change that will happen beginning August 9th, that first day of school is they will no longer have a school resource officer here at the school. The high school, however, will still have one. They say that's because safety. There are more likely issues to happen at a high school versus here at the middle school based on past experiences. And the last bit of this is more family involvement. They've revitalized their parent group and they've had two meetings this summer. They're trying to get more parents involved and have their voices heard and how the school year shapes out. John. Jalen Sochak reporting for us live this morning. Jalen, thank you. When the ACLU adds that many of these children who get suspended, expelled, or even arrested typically have learning disabilities or histories of poverty, abuse, or neglect, and would benefit from additional education and counseling services.